Welcome to Infigyan friends. In today's video, we have one very interesting question from radical equations. The given equation is x times square root 20 minus x square times x plus square root 20 minus x square equal to 48. And we are going to calculate real solutions only. As we can see, square root 20 minus x square is there in our equation. So we will take up our obvious substitution square root 20 minus x square equal to y. Squaring both sides, 20 minus x square, this will be equal to y square. After rearranging terms, x square plus y square will be 20. Now we can use algebraic identities. So I can write this as x plus y whole square minus 2xy equal to 20. Let me call this is our equation number 1. And what will happen to our original equation after this substitution? We can write x times y times x plus y equal to 48. So we will solve this system of equation for the real values of x. Let us write here once x plus y whole square minus 2xy equal to 20 and x square xy times x plus y equal to 48. Now I will consider x plus y equal to a and xy equal to b. See what will come out after this. Our first equation I can write x plus y whole square. So a square minus 2b will be 20 and second equation will be this one is first, this one is second. Second equation I will be writing a times b equal to 48. Now you can see, question is looking easy. Now we can consider the multiplication of 2 in the equation 2. So I can write 2 times AB equal to 96. So I can write here A times 2B equal to 96. Now from equation 1, A square minus 2B is equal to 20. So 2b value will be a square minus 20. Let us write here directly. So our equation will come out cubic. a times a square minus 20 equal to 96. Or we can write a cube minus 20a minus 96 equal to 0. This is one cubic equation. I will use method of factorization. Let us solve this cubic first. A cube minus 20A minus 96 equal to 0. So I can write or I can split minus 20 as minus 36A plus 16A minus 96 equal to 0. Now from first two terms we can take a common so in bracket a square minus 36 so 36 can we write 6 square plus 16 is looking common from third and fourth term so I can write a minus 6 in the bracket equal to 0. Now difference of two squares formula a times a plus 6 a minus 6 plus 16 times a minus 6 equal to 0. Now a minus 6 is common from here. So I will be writing a minus 6 in other bracket a times a plus 6 plus 16 equal to 0. a minus 6 times a square plus 6a plus 16 equal to 0. 
now it is in multiplicative form right hand side is 0 so we can write a minus 6 will be 0 or this quadratic equation a square plus 6a plus 16 will be 0. Let us solve both. So I will write here a square plus 6a plus 16 equal to 0 and a minus 6 equal to 0. So from this equation we can conclude a is equal to 6. From this quadratic equation, I will check only the discriminant value. So discriminant is as per formula b square minus 4 times ac. What is b? b is 6 whole square minus 4 times a is coefficient of small a square, it is 1. c is constant, it is 16. So 36 minus 64. This value, if you will check, it is coming out minus 28. Value is negative. So here we will get only complex solutions. So easily we can reject this quadratic for our real solutions. So a is equal to 6 is accepted 1. What was a? a was our substitution x plus y equal to 6. Now I will be writing here x plus y is equal to 6. See the second equation was ab equal to 48. Once a is 6 then b will be 48 over 6. So b is 8. a is 6, b is 8. Now I will write a was a x plus y b was x y let me write here a equal to 6 b is equal to 8 a was x plus y b was x times y now x plus y is 6 x y 8 presume one quadratic equation whose roots are x and y then this is sum of roots this is product of roots. So we can write one quadratic equation in x itself, x square minus sum of roots 6x plus product of roots 8 equal to 0. Now I can apply factorization method or quadratic formula method. So let me write here formula method minus b, so 6 plus minus under the root b square is 36 minus 4ac is negative 32 divided by 2a, so 2. Further I can write 6 plus minus square root 4 over 2. Or I can write 6 plus minus 2 over 2. 6 plus 2 is 8 over 2, 4. 6 minus 2 is 4 over 2 is 2. So we have got 2x values, 4 and 2. Let us cross examine. So I will write verification. X is equal to 2 and X is equal to 4. So I will begin with LHS itself. X times. So I will be writing. See this is our equation. X times. So 2 times square root 20 minus x square so 20 minus 4 in bracket 2 plus square root 20 minus 4 now 2 times square root 16 times 2 plus square root 16 2 times 4 times in bracket 2 plus 4 so 8 times 6, this will give us our required RHS 48. Hence, x is equal to 2, it is verified solution. Now let us consider x is equal to 4. Again I will write LHS. So I will be writing here 4 times 
square root of 20 minus this time 4 square is 16 times 4 plus square root 20 minus 16. It should match with 48. Let us resolve. Let us simplify. Square root 4 in bracket 4 plus square root 4. 4 times 2 in bracket 4 plus 2. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 plus 2 is 6. So again we are getting our required RHS 48. This way we can say x is equal to 4 is also true and verified solutions. This brings the end of this video. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.